Hey everybody, welcome back to round two of Dragon Ball Z Budokai 2. Now I say that because we've literally did this already once and it fucking didn't record. We had some issues with the recording device, so on and so forth. But we're here, we got it figured out. This is Frostbite 2862 right alongside me. Go ahead and introduce yourself. What's up, people? And this is the, uh, I don't really want to say it's requested. I think we've already gone over that, but, uh... Well, the first recording we went yeah, over. Yeah, 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 yeah. We had, like, an hour worth of audio. <laughs> the guys... not requested Dragon Ball Z Budokai Yeah, nobody too. requested this shit. What, you guys not like the first one? What the hell's wrong with you? This one's got a board game. A fucking board game in it. And you guys are like, oh, man, I don't want to watch that. Well, too bad, because that's the series we're doing right out of the gate. Me and Frostbite's got a lot of cool stuff lined up for you guys. This is just a little taste of what we got on the back burner. Uh, so, uh, anything to add to that? Uh, the only other thing I can add is that, surprisingly, the only other game that I've been requested even before this was DBZ Sagas, which is like, really? <laughs> Out of every kind of game you really want to watch us play, you want to watch us play that shit over a game like this? I mean, I know the board game sense of the story mode isn't the most appealing thing in the world, but, I mean, really? DBZ Sagas? You want to see us go through from Saiyan Saga to Cell Saga only again? Talk about the same stupid shit with nothing else? <laughs> and we totally just realized that we were playing this without volume, and now we got volume. Well, on our end, anyways. You guys have been listening to this from the very beginning. Our volume was turned down to, like, one. <laughs> yeah, like, we, we, we couldn't even hear what the hell was going on. But it doesn't matter, because now we're here to play this game Fucking two and a half years after doing the first one. Yeah, the only thing that sucks, we gotta fucking do this stupid shit. Yeah, we over gotta again. we gotta do all this again. <laughs> Maybe we'll be able to go through it a little bit smoother than we did last time. Cause I mean, we were pretty. You're I, slow I, as shit. Well, not only that, but I spent that good like five minutes being like, dude, why can't I fucking move? I can't fucking move. And we're like trying to clean the controller, and then we just realized we're like, wait a minute, did you even select him? Just, well, fuck me. You know, simple as that. Long ago, seven Dragon Balls were forged, which then gathered together with some of an eternal dragon a child, uh, to grant a single wish. The quest for these mystics orbs is a perilous one, one that grants uh, one that Goku has faced all too often. <coughs> perilous. <coughs> for over time, the allure of the Dragon Balls attracted a host of powerful villains. Uh, I guess. I don't know. During the Dragon Ball era, I mean, they're powerful for their time. In order to protect the Earth and to prevent the Dragon Balls from falling into evil hands, Goku has thrown himself into battle. You know, it's really funny because a lot of them... I mean, this started off with Raditz just coming to recruit Goku. It had nothing to do with the Dragon Balls whatsoever. They're big mouths, and always he is fueled by a single burning desire to be the best. But really, it didn't really start becoming a let's attack Earth for the Dragon Balls till Vegeta. Frieza wasn't wasn't even one that was... Well, Frieza was trying to get the Dragon Balls on Namek... Cell didn't care about the dragon balls. Three minutes in and we already have one huge glaring issue. Why what is Nappa here? What the fuck is Nappa doing with Raditz? This is stupidity at its finest, folks. And I can only attest it to one thing. The creative team is super fucking lazy over at Atari. They're like, you know what, man? What we could have done is just said, fuck Raditz, because Raditz isn't that important of a character anyway. Let's just have Vegeta and Nappa. Krillin. No. No, no, no. This is the shit we're stuck with. We gotta fucking do this again. Like, I, I can't even stress this enough. That hey, well, let's make sure this time we don't stupidly skip a lot of the cutscenes yeah. like we did last time. <laughs> that was okay. the only thing that we we're gonna be able to atone for, so here we yeah, go. Yeah, so we're gonna atone for a few things that we missed, but goddamn, we're gonna miss so many good fucking jokes. Can't you talk for real? Obviously not. So but like, what so the fuck does he expect? They're aliens. Have you ever thought that like Goku and extraterrestrial life? Of course, up to this point, he's only dealt with Piccolo. But but at the same time, well, I mean, even the in the creator's standpoint, why is it that Raditz and Appa know how to speak English? Is English just the universal language? Hey, you don't know that. Could be. It very well, could be. For all hey, we freaking know. Hey, fuck aliens, man. This is United States of America. You know they don't fuck Japanese. They don't fuck Japanese. <laughs> you know, fuck, what? fuck, fuck Japanese, fuck Mexican, fuck Spanish, fuck French, fuck every other language. If you don't know English, you might as well not go as far as Mars. 
know what's funny is I bet your subscriber count for every one of those comments is dropped by one. <laughs> Try like five each. <laughs> I swear, I think I have more out of United States subscribers than in United States subscribers. But hey, you know what? Let's go ahead and go out of my way and shamelessly get a bunch of comments. Send a comment on where you're watching this from just to prove me wrong. You know what I say? I say equality for everyone. But I still hate Mexicans. <laughs> so there we go, folks. <laughs> We're off to a grand start compared to the last one. This is like... This, this has the feel of the last... Two episodes of Budokai already. All, already we're just starting and we've already got the racist jokes dropping. <laughs> so a couple things. Okay. Alright, that works for me. You, okay. So there's a couple things that we want to throw out here. Okay. If you watch Dragon Ball Z Budokai on either of our channels, both of our channels, you would know that I like to edit. James likes everything completely uncut. If you're watching on my channel and want to watch the uncut version, go on to his channel. And check. vice versa. And, so. you know, if you much rather watch edited than go to mine. I'm not too worried about doing too much editing because I had to edit the first game because you had to win or you couldn't continue. And watching you fight Cell four times in a row just didn't scream appeal on my channel. So I kind of decided to edit it out to where you got your ass kicked all four times till you won. This game, not so much. If you lose, you, ha you have an ability to lose and still go back in and kick your opponent's ass once again with you know little to no downside with it due to the health bars that you see there. A um, couple more things to know about the board game style of it. Again, you may have noticed the, you know, the green health bars that I talked about on the game board, essentially. Talk about rape there. I mean, goddamn. <laughs> that's rape in energy form. This isn't the command man, just like one giant penis coming at you. I, Maybe yeah. it's a euphemism for something. Anyways, you beat you beat a main, like, you know, side men are one thing. You know, you go to them, you fight one or two or three of them. That's it. You go into the main character, and that's when the little health bars come into play. Like you see next to Goku has three, Krillin has two, Nappa has four, Raditz has three. You beat them once, they lose one health bar, they get knocked back. When they get knocked back, they go into a little bit of a confused thing. And you attack them again while they're in the middle of that, and you take out two. So essentially, you can fight them, they can come up to fight you. You can take you can take out one bar, and then you can go right to them and take out another two bars. So that's three bars immediately right there. We're going to have our very first character interaction and character battle going on here. This is some unique dialogue, so you might want to pay attention to it. I'm just kidding. Who fucking cares about Raditz? Pretty much. He's literally the most worthless character ever. You would have thought with a storyline like, Oh, hey, man, this is my long-lost brother coming to get me. They would have saved it for later down the road. No. First thing out of the gate, his brother. He turns out to be one of the weakest people in the entire show. Well, he does not want the Dragon Balls. And you want to know what's really funny about it, if you really think about it? Raditz was, you know, the weakest enemy they had to go against. But just remember, it took both Goku and Piccolo to beat him. Neither of them could have beat him by themselves. That means that they were piss-poor pathetic at the beginning of DBZ. Piss-poor pathetic. Dude, I love how this game just tries so hard to, like... Make up for its retarded shortcoming. It's like, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna say that Raditz. I mean, because technically, yes, Raditz does work for Freezer. But the thing is, is that he never directly says that in the show. Oh no, there, there, there's so many things in this game that are so off of the continuity within the other game. Like the fact that I already have King Kai Fist. Oh, that didn't happen until times fight. twenty. At that, you didn't even have times ten going up against Freeze, and now you got times twenty out of nowhere. Like, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? That's this game making up for being fucking lazy. I guess you know, like like you said, you know, it's Atari. Um, the very first Dragon Ball Z Budokai game, um, Funimation and Infograms, um, Dimps, um, was like, I think the main developer of it. And then you come over to Budokai 2, and it's still Funimation, Dimps, but then you throw in Atari instead of Infograms, 
And, well, it's kind of obvious as to how that goes. And now it is Frosty's time to play. That's right. Yeah, you, they get a special dialogue. You sure are some creepy guys, huh? Krillin? God damn it. So anyways, um, at, because you're able to use more than one character in these, I'll be playing as well, and my fan base will finally know exactly what I mean by I suck at fighting games. You watch James's fighting in the first Budokai. You've seen how he's fight and during this so far. Now you're about ready to see me, Mr. One Button. <laughs> 